what you guys got another video here for you on how to stop windows 10 from installing version 2004 update now if you want to avoid any unwanted problems by delaying the windows 10 uh, may 2020 update then this video is for you now normally these updates come with uh, enhanced features changes to the operating system and improvements uh, to the security so why wouldn't you want to update straight away? Well, if you wait, uh, then you're going to be a lot better off because these um, updates are not properly tested and they're using you as a guinea pig to test their updates. Now, during the early days of this release, this upgrade uh, will have some bugs and they could be some major bugs and also some of the features may not work properly and you can end up with some driver issues with audio and other problems that Microsoft uh, doesn't know about and they're using you to get that information so they can fix a lot of bugs rather than pay a load of testers to test their software before they released it now this is a major update it's not just a small update it's gonna basically be a fresh install of your Windows 10 with this update involved and they'll back all your data up and copy it across so I'd advise you to even back up all your data before you roll out a big large upgrade or update like this okay so what I'll do here is show you a bunch of different ways of pausing or blocking this update until you want to roll this update out yourself and the reason why I say that is because that way you won't have any problems now I know the average person might not have many problems but masses of people do have problems and this can be very disruptive to your workflow trying to get work done maybe you're having audio issues or whatever it may be so always pause these updates before you commit to installing a large update like this from Microsoft that is just my personal opinion so let me just show you how to do this on Windows 10 home and Windows 10 Pro uh, right click on the start menu and go system and then we can go to the about tab here and this will show us what version of Windows we are running on our computer you can see this says Windows 10 Pro and also it will tell me directly underneath that what version of Windows we're running so you can see version 1909 yours may be an older version or it may be the same and uh, this is what it is right here so you can check those out so you know what version you're running now if it's stable for you and you're having no issues then you may want to hold off and wait for a bit so let me show you how to block Windows 10 version 2004 using these settings so going into the settings and an update and security go into advanced options here and on here you will see choose when updates are installed so let's take a look underneath choose when updates are installed there's two little drop downs here one with uh, the top bit which says a features update includes new capabilities and improvements it can be deferred for this many days which is 365 days so it will hold off from doing that big update for 365 days underneath that you've got a quality update includes security improvements it can be deferred for this many days now you may want to put that on zero or you may want to put that on 30 days and that can hold off for 30 days sometimes these can have issues as well it's entirely up to you how you set yours up with these settings it means it won't automatically download it will give you a download and install button right in your updates area okay so let's do it inside group policy editor by typing gpo in the search and open up the group policy editor you will need windows 10 pro so computer configuration administrative templates windows components and then come down to windows updates so inside that folder what we want to go for now is windows updates for businesses first go into that area and this will help block windows 10 version 2004 using the group policy editor go in here and look for now we need to click on select when preview builds and feature updates are received policy so that is up the top there click on this one you can double click and open this up inside here we can set this up so you can see it's not configured at the moment so if you want to set this up to enable this will give you the option to set your settings on the little pane down below here you can see preview build fast slow set annual um, channel here and also you've got the bit below there which says after the preview build or feature update is released defer for this many days you can put in so many days to how many you want to defer by so for instance 365 would be what you would put in there if you want to do that 
So you can set this up how you like and uh, that should be okay. You can pause preview builds as well and feature updates starting as well inside there if you want to do that. Once you're happy with your settings, click on apply and you can see we've got it set up exactly as it is here. And then once you've done that, you can click OK. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like once you've got this set. So if we go to our start menu here and then settings inside here, update and security, you can see some settings are managed by your organization. And that's what's taken over. So it's going to take over that updates setting right there. So let me go ahead and show you uh, the other little area which you can check as well. So we're going to go back into GPO here, click on the group policy editor, open this up. And we're going to go back to that same location, compute configuration. And we're going to go into administrative templates. Then we're going to go down to Windows components and then Windows update. Go, go down and drag this all the way down here. So let's just find where that location is down the bottom here there we go now we've already been in windows update for business but what you can look for here is configure automatic updates on there as well and you should see it there so if you double click on this one and this will open up this little box here and uh, again it looks exactly the same but if you enable this area here you should see configure automatic updating and you can set this up to exactly how you like it so for instance notify for download and auto install auto download and notify for install or automatic download and schedule the install or allow local admin to choose editing so you can choose which one of those that suits your requirements for instance auto download and notify for install so you can see here you can set this up to exactly how you like inside here and of course once you've got this set up you'll be able to set the uh, in scheduled uh, days for install and you can also install during automatic maintenance as well so if you're uh, sort of at a time where you're busy on that computer you can set it up for a time uh, that suits you best you can also hit disable which means you won't get any updates uh, from them if you want to and you can just set this to updates uh, uh, disable updates as well and you'll notice it says if this status for this policy is set to disabled any updates that are available on the windows updates must be downloaded and installed manually so this will force it to be downloaded and installed manually by yourself so if that's how you want to set yours up you can do and that's how you can do it by applying that and okay Okay, so let's go to the start and settings button here and then we're going to go to network and internet. This is for Windows 10 home users. Pro users can use it as well. Go to uh, Wi-Fi setting if you're on Wi-Fi and click on your Wi-Fi connection. So come down and set metered connection. If you set data limit, Windows will set this metered connection setting for you to help stay under your limit. What this is going to do is restrict uh, any sort of feature updates coming down because obviously you're on a, a restriction for this Wi-Fi connection. You can also do this on an Ethernet connection as well by going back to uh, the network and internet. This time click on Ethernet and then click on your Ethernet connection and then set this as a meet connection. This will restrict and limit the access to the internet so basically that's how you can stop it if you're on a Windows 10 home system. I personally don't like that method, but if that's the method that you choose to use, then by all means it's there. This is a much better method in my personal opinion for Windows 10 home users or even pro users if you want to. It's called Stop Updates 10. And basically what it will do is allow you to toggle on and toggle off uh, the blocking of Windows 10 updates. So you can enable it whenever you feel like you want to download those updates. So it's like a stop and pause Windows updates setup. And you can see here, this is what it basically does. So this is why it works. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to go ahead and install it because I've shown you this before, but that's basically how you can block Windows 10 version 2004 on Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro or any other version of Windows. Very simple and easy to do and gives you back your full control of your Windows 10 updates. Now, of course, 
Uh, not everyone is going to block updates. That's totally fine. That's in totally up to you. I'm not telling you to do it. It's entirely up to you whether you want to do it. If you're one of these people that like to update straight away, by all means, go ahead and do so. But if you're one of these people that has been plagued with problem after problem with updating Windows 10, especially with these large feature updates, then by all means, I would advise you to block it until all of the problems have been ironed out and fixed. Now, I've spoken to some people and they've had no problems with Windows 10 updates at all, and that's a good thing. But there is loads of people out there that have had loads of issues with Windows 10. And if you're one of those people, then by all means, I would advise you to block them. But again, uh, this is one of the biggest problems for me with Windows 10 is going back and reinstalling these big, massive feature updates and it resets all of your settings. And of course, you have to then go back and do all of those settings again, which is a bit more time consuming for the user. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out on how to block Windows 10 version 2004 on Windows 10 Home and Pro. Thanks again for watching. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.